and welcome back to the channel. On this video, we're riding around on the Lurk Graffiti on a very cool fall day. It's temperatures in the 40s. I'm not exactly sure where it's at, but maybe 45. And there's a pretty good wind going. But on this video, I wanted to talk about <clears throat> something that happened to me this just a while ago when I was riding home from work on my bike I was thinking about something going down a slight hill which I was doing and I had the bike in the this bike here in the on uh, road mode which is the slower mode um, which basically keeps you at uh, illegal in the state of Oregon, illegal 20 miles per hour. And so I was thinking because I was going down a slight hill, not a big steep hill or anything, but just a slight hill. And the bike, you know, I, uh, it was accelerating because it was going down the hill. And it was going, it got up to uh, 27 miles an hour. And I'm thinking, um, should I be braking here? Like the speed limit was 25 in, on the road that I was on. So it's not like I was whizzing through there at you know, blazing speed that's faster basically than the speed limit. But um, it just made me think, so in the state of Oregon, the, the speed limit, legal limit is 20 miles an hour. It made me think, what about if you are going slightly downhill? Are you supposed to uh, ride your brake? Or can you go a little bit faster if it's downhill? Or do you still got to keep it at 20 miles per hour? Because really, to me, if you have to keep it maximum 20 miles per hour, now in some circumstances you can't even get to that speed right depending on where you're at and stuff well but it's making me think if you do have to maintain 20 miles per hour even if you're going down a hill maybe you need to have what if we just put on all the bikes a cruise control and that way you're always going to have your speed regulated by the cruise control if it's doing its job it'll keep you at 20 miles per hour well maybe we need to make that mandatory to have that to control your bike on all bikes instead of having to ride your brake or constantly be looking down at your display and seeing what your speedometer is reading but another thing too is not all speedometers are accurate in fact i think almost all electric bike speedometers are off sometimes they're not off by much sometimes they are this one here the graffiti is off by about one mile per hour i think one no more than two but i think it's one point something maybe um, so it, I think it's one, maybe it's even less than that. Um, anyway, and then uh, on my uh, Grizzly, Aerial Rider Grizzly, for example, you can change, I think you can on here too, but you can change the wheel size. And I changed the wheel size when I got the bike because I saw a video where um, they were saying about if you change the wheel size to 22 inch, you'll get an accurate reading. And I did a test on that and I was within three tenths of the mile per hour. So it was basically right on. And so I did that and just left it there. But then when I changed tires and put the E-Huntsman on, I don't know if that affects it at all or, or not because the tires are slightly bigger around 
because I sit up an extra inch or so compared to what the stock tires were. But anyway, something to think about. I don't know. Um, maybe you can leave a comment if you know the criteria for if you're going down a hill. Do you have to, can you go a little bit faster? Or I, I suspect you have to stay at that whatever your maximum speed you can be, but. Anyway, I thought today, because I was going down the hill and I didn't break, and like I say, it was a gradual, it wasn't a steep hill or anything, it was one of these very gradual slope, uh, but I picked up speed and I got up to 27 miles per hour on a 25 mile per hour road, and I just wondered if, If I was, first of all, it was illegal, I guess, technically, because the limit, speed limit here in Oregon is 20. But like I say, I was using the on-road switch right here, this uh, switch right there, you push it in for on-road and off, uh, out for off-road. And I had it on pedal assist level one, which is the slowest level. But even still coasting down the hill, like I say, I was going, 27 miles per hour I got up to. That was top speed, but... I've done videos in the past about speed limits and, and all that, and I wish, uh, and I've said this before, I wish that uh, all states were equal, and then the bikes could be made for that. And my thinking is, make them all class three. Make them uh, able to go 28 miles per hour, and then it's up to the rider's choice. If they want to ride 28 miles per hour, they should legally be able to. And it depends on where you are. Like on this street I'm on right now, I don't think you're gonna need to ride 28 miles per hour because it's a 20 to 25 mile per hour zone. And you don't need to be going uh, really faster than that but but sometimes you're out on a road that's a 40 mile per hour road and you want to go faster and uh, and you should be able to go fast. I think 28 is a fair price hmm. look like a yard sale or a estate sale or something going on right there. If I would have seen an e-bike, I would have stopped and turned around. But I didn't. All I saw was furniture. But if you have a comment, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. On this or any other video. And uh, let me know what you think of uh, Speed limits, and do you agree with me on uh, making all the states the same legal speed limit of 28 or class 3? And then leave it up to the rider to decide how fast they actually want to go. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.